So it's the middle of the summer, sun shining, beautiful weather. Just going for a quick walk around the block, stretch the old legs. I've had a lie in, starting to get a little bit warm outside. I think again though, it might not be ideal for your dog. It might even get burnt feet. And if you don't think that's likely, well, let's have a look at the temperatures. I've got the thermometer here and let's see that says so in the shade we're at 26 degrees okay so in the shade we've got 26 degrees now you know that's a nice day it's nice shorts and t-shirt weather it doesn't seem particularly hot it's only here it can get up into the 30 degrees low 30s so you know there's potential room for for things to get a little bit hotter but if it's 26 degrees in the shade how hot is it in the sun and how hot is the pavement because the pavement is beating down the sun's beating down on it all day it's also darker it's black so it's absorbing all of that heat so just how hot is that pavement getting and is it actually hot enough to burn your dog's feet i'm just going to move that into the sun now and we'll see what that comes up with you know 26 it's really nice shorts and t-shirt not too hot but you know pull that into the sun and let's see what happens that's gone from about 26 degrees and we're now about 36 37 degrees and that's just on the table um, so let's move it over I'm just gonna walk over here to some concrete and we're gonna put it on the ground and see actually how hot the ground is um, so let's have a little look okay so we're up at about 40 344 degrees on the ground so that's pretty hot compared to the 26 degrees that it is in the shade okay so 43 degrees on the pavement but just how hot is that you know it's a number how do we visualize that well I'm gonna just see how long it's gonna take me to get really uncomfortable when I take my shoes off and just go barefoot onto the ground okay let's have a little look okay so it feels within a couple of seconds it's feeling pretty hot um, not so bad on my heels but the balls of my feet which are a bit more sensitive it's getting really hot now so I know I'm not moving that would mean that I'd be able to to stand it a little bit more but that's getting really hot yeah that's getting really hot so imagine your dog tied up outside a shop for five minutes yeah so it's starting to really be quite sore on the balls of my feet I might say actually that's it's getting getting close to the limit it's getting really hot so yep no I think that's me done yeah so I don't know I don't know how long that was 30 seconds 45 seconds a minute not very long though so imagine you know you've gone to the shops you've gone to buy some milk whatever it is um, you tie your dog up in the sun well wow, that, that that pavement's pretty hot and it's not going to take them very long for things to get pretty uncomfortable and although they might hop from foot to foot just to make things a little bit more bearable yeah it's going to get pretty uncomfortable and it'll definitely be hot enough to burn their pads now i did wonder is that actually hot enough to fry an egg not sure it is i've been doing a little bit of googling and i think about 55 degrees is what's needed to to fry an egg but i thought we'd have a little look and see um, just to prove a point that that's really hot and it's actually often we see our dogs come in with really sore feet they're lame we wonder why and yeah it's actually because they've got burnt feet from walking on the pavement so just imagine that and think about that next time it's a really hot day outside and you're wanting to walk um, down the pavement go to the shops with your dog it's really hot maybe stick to the first thing in the morning stick to the evening the cool of the day um, or walk on the grass or something like that which doesn't get nearly so hot okay so here goes we've got the egg Let's see what happens. Oh well, broke the yolk. There we go. Not used to cracking an egg on the concrete. So let's just see what happens. Right, so I suspected, unfortunately, it's not hot enough to, to fry an egg, which would have just proven the point that it's incredibly hot um, and definitely hot enough to burn your dog's feet. Um, but, well, regardless, 43, 44 degrees, when it's 26 degrees in the shade so 26 degrees you know it's a nice summer's day um, it certainly gets hotter depending on where it is which part of the world that you live but 26 degrees in the shade going up to 
43 degrees on the pavement. If you've got new new road laid, if it's a bit blacker, it'll probably be even hotter again. Um, and I reckon if I probably put the egg on the car bonnet, it would definitely be hot enough to, to fry the egg, but it's definitely hot enough to burn your dog's feet. So stick to the cool weather, stick to the early morning, to the late evening, if you're taking your dog just for a walk around the block. You don't want to overdo things anyway when it's really hot. Um, especially if they're kind of a short-nosed brachycephalic breed, really prone to overheating. Remember, our dogs can't sweat, they can only pant, so that's the only way that they can lose heat. And if they're panting, their breathing is compromised in any way, so our dogs that have got the, the shorter noses, the airways are often much smaller, um, and they're really prone to overheating, so our bulldogs, our pugs, um, you know, that kind of breed. So just have a think. In the summer, be really aware that not only do we risk overheating, and that can cause all kinds of horrible problems. But we risk something simple as burning their feet, and I can imagine that's something that not many of us would always think about. So, yeah, enjoy the summer, enjoy the hot weather, but just think about your companion. Okay, so I hope you found today interesting, probably a bit unexpected. I wonder if it's something that you've ever thought about before, and I'd love to hear below if your dog's ever had any problems in the, in the hot weather, if they've ever burnt their feet, just to let people know that it really is a real risk. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them down below. And if it's your first time here, consider subscribing just to make sure that you don't miss out on any future videos just like this one, all about helping you and your pet to live a healthier, happier life. So until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family.